How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Today, we're going to break out the backhoe on Brutus. Y'all stand by. We've got a concrete culvert that runs across this little drive area here. You can see it here. It's been busted up. You can see the pieces there. It runs across here. I don't know. What's that? 12, 15 feet maybe? Something like that. And then comes out here. You can see the top of it there. And then runs down this ditch. We've got maybe 100-ish, maybe 120-ish feet of uh, pipe so we're going to lay it all the way down through here as far as it will go and then what we lay we're going to cover with dirt and try to make that more of a kind of a swell if you will maybe just a sloping area that way we can eventually that area is going to have grass on it right so this will be hopefully covered and kind of gradually taper off there into this field with the pipe underneath it and all the way as far as down as we can get or whatever so we'll see we'll see what happens let's go get to let me show you the pipe we're going to be using an eight inch plastic black plastic pipe and so we got uh one two three four five pieces and they look like they're probably 20 20 feet long something like that we had some some people donate that pipe that were they were in the middle of a construction project they, they had this stuff laying around and they just said hey you if you want it take it so we are very grateful for them to provide that to us and help us with our ditch problem we got here and let's uh hey listen about to fire this whole backhoe up now come on we'll be using the bh 200 on the old brutus so i gotta swap out the pallet forks and i'll put the bucket on there and get to work on it i've been practicing i've done probably nine stumps so i've never done a ditch yet but i've done stumps i've done nine stumps since i've had the backhoe Cause I didn't want to start I didn't want to do my first ones in front of you guys <laughs> in order for me to get y'all the best camera shots and stuff I'm gonna go find Gina I think she's down in the garden hey where you at I see her so these are zinnias ain't they pretty these are called dahlias I think and then oh look there you are <laughs> and these are obviously sunflowers so you know my crop identification skills basically are corn not corn and then my flowers are sunflowers not sunflowers that's about my, the extent of my uh, identification skills on flowers and and crops but anyway so she's going to finish up here and uh look how pretty that is she's going to finish up here and we're going to get these delivered actually then we're going to start on the ditch so i'll be back with you in just a second okay i think we're going to try to leave this concrete culvert pipe that's in here because we drive across this driveway so it's just going to kind of clean up around it and see what we're dealing with like the diameter size or whatever to see how we can connect the black corrugated pipe so he's going to start to dig that out now I want to show y'all something that I learned very early about being a backhoe operator, all right? That may or may not be Ben. <laughs> Don't forget to take this thing out. Rookie mistake. <laughs> reminded me of dinosaurs for some reason <laughs> like a big dinosaur I thought I was uh I thought I got a backhoe so I didn't have to do this no wonder it wasn't draining very great oh, look at that mess it's definitely clogged up I wonder if we should flush that pipe out with water. Probably not a bad idea, huh? 
I mean, it is clogged up. The problem that we're having is that the pipe is full of dirt. And this is how much dirt we've got out of it so far. And I've gone as far as the handles will allow me to go with uh, the post hole diggers on this side. And then on this side as well, we've gone in with the shovel. And what we're trying to do is now we're just kind of use the water because I've got about the distance from this to this is probably slap full of dirt. So I'm going to dig down some more with the with the backhoe here and see if that won't allow the water to drain and then just leave the water hose on it. But switch to the post hole diggers because the the, the shovel needs leverage so the, at least this way you can uh, go go horizontal here yeah I can hear you hitting the dirt in there I need a pressure washer is what we need oh with the wand yeah with the high pressure on. let me see if anything is happening on this end No. Nothing yet. <laughs> hey, we have water. Our idea works. So we got a piece of pipe and stuck the water hose through the Look. steel pipe to kind of use to jet it. Yeah. There you go. And it cleared it. Look how smart Gina is coming up with that. <laughs> Sorry you're having to do the muddy work. <laughs> I'm the brains behind the operation. That's right. I'm turn it upside down here a minute so you can see what we're dealing with. Ooh, little frog. Yeah. can't dig too deep because we're right beside this massive oak tree and we don't want to like disturb the roots so we've got to get it where the pipe will drain though down the hill so. perfect starting to drain now so good deal Let's see if we can get this pipe all the way unclogged that's perfect good job yep. all right so we got water flowing pretty good now you can see but check this out, man. See, look, look how much dirt this is pushing out. I'm going to put my hand up in here. I mean, it's just... Yeah. It was pretty clogged. I mean, it's, it's four inches deep in the in here. Yeah, so this this place sat vacant for almost nine years. Yeah. So this pipe has not been maintained. And sadly, the three years we've been here, we've never unclogged this pipe. So we started out using this piece of pipe, which is probably... Five foot? I don't know. Let me see. I'm <laughs> five one. Yeah. No, it's a four and a half feet tall. <laughs> something like that. And we found this piece of pipe that's maybe six and a half foot and put the hose on the end of that. And been power drilling it. Still lots of dirt, huh? Why? Huh? Why am I using a shovel? I got a backup beside me. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Hey, my foot's the, there you go. <laughs> uh, hold on. Like a vacuum. <laughs> Shouldn't have such a big old foot. <laughs> okay, I think we got it a little high. You need to go back some. Go back some more. It's high right there. Okay. Look at his mad skills. <laughs> Yeah, 
pretty good now. Still a lot of sand, but it's it's getting there. Check this out, guys and gals. That came off a pin in my backhoe subframe. I saw it laying here, so now I gotta find the pin. So we got the metal detector out, trying to look for the pin. You know, sometimes, I mean, I was luckily I saw this. Let's see, I hear it beeping. Got a beep right here. There's something right there. I had to move the tractor so that we could be on where it was sitting. Hi, but who? Where was that beep at? Hey, there you go. There it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. All right. So there's the pin that came out of my backhoe my support. Cheesy metal detector. Take it off. So anyway, so hey, listen, every now and again, you got to be aware of your surroundings so that you can, if you, like, I just happen to see the sun shimmer off that gold linchpin, I look down and my backhoe support pin had come off. So now that we got that backhoe situation taken care of, I'm going to add some rock, I'm going to clean this up, add the rocks, and I'm going to put a little bit of this broken concrete, and then we'll add gravel, and then we'll start covering up the pipe, lay the pipe covered up, and we'll be done. We actually have a little pile of gravel left over from the RV parking pad that we'll use to help fill that in with. My only concern is that that gravel's too small. It might get washed away. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. So we don't want it to wash out. So we're trying to, like a treat this as riprap I guess you'd say. Is that right Jim? Sure. I think that's what they call it. And hopes that the sides don't collapse. Alright so what we've done is we've tried to create a little swell here over here uh, we, put, we put dirt down first and then a little swell so that it diverts the water into the pipe. So what we're going to do, we think if this particular small gravel holds, then we'll wait till the next uh, heavy rain and then see if we can trace where the weak spots are and modify as necessary. Now what we're going to do is just cover the pipe up here. We'll cover this section at first and then we'll lay more pipe down and start covering it up as well. So let's go ahead and get on that. I'll finish this up. We'll be done with this project. Hey, listen, there's going to be a little white circle right here. Clicked it to subscribe. Underneath it's another Branson video that we've made. Watch it. We'd appreciate it. Take care. God bless.